Yo, what is going on? So here I am. Um, thank you for watching, obviously. Uh, you can check out my couple other channels here. I have Tom Brand One, which is a comedy channel. Um, you also have uh, From the Bleachers Sports Show, which is a sports show. And you have this channel, which is like uh, a vlog nostalgia, famous places, famous locations, anything random channel, just all into one. So here it is. Right, and uh, we're going to do a little vlog. Now I'm trying to, I'm trying to um, do something different, and I'll explain a little bit about myself. I'm trying to, you know, like I've done these vlog things, just kind of speaking on like a, like a like a topic you know things that such as you know, you know don't do this that kind of like almost like list type of vlogs and just kind of branch off from that but I want to do something different and uh, I want to kind of these type of videos I want to guess like to make it like official make it like a uh, if not a weekly thing every other week thing just kind of shooting the breeze and just uh, going on about um, like the format being like current events type of things like in the news pop culture kind of make it like a almost like a like you like just talking and just shooting the breeze thought and thinking out loud you know that type of format you know nothing uh, scripted nothing rehearsed I want to I want to Try doing that. Try doing that. See how that works. Add in, maybe sprinkle some funny commentary, funny observations. At least I think it's funny, right? You should see how that goes. And also, just talk about various topics. A couple of topics, maybe one topic, two topics, maybe four or five. And just sprinkle in some thoughts from happenings. And, uh, you know, not, not go too crazy as far as time. Um, you know, maybe half an hour, right? 45 minutes, that's a good, a good time frame. So, the whole setup, as you can see, is um, it's my camera. Uh, it's my camera, not my, it's, it's my cell phone. Kind of propped up <laughs> as I'm driving. So this is not going to be, you know, like a, like uh, anything extravagant, and you know, it's just kind of off the cuff, right? Maybe I could sprinkle in like uh, kind of some type of sound effects somehow, but I, I don't want I don't want this to be like a extravagant thing, you know. I just kind of want it to be like, boom, here it is gonna try to put out as 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 great of a quality as I could so kind of the origin I guess of where all of this started uh, in making videos and you know I, I love sports so I've been doing you know that sports channel uh, from the bleachers wrestling, baseball, NBA, NFL, NHL, so I cover that, you know, and then I have, like, uh, the Tom Brand One, which is the comedy channel, and, uh, that's, that was my first channel, uh, I think that guy, like, I, I used to do chat roulette, times have changed, <laughs> can't do really chat roulette anymore, or meagle. Like I used to do pranks, and all in good nature, all in good fun. I did short stories. Uh, I still do short stories. I do like jokes on there. It's all there. You can see it. And uh, you know, and Tom Brady One Thoughts. It's like the recent channel, which is like vlogging. Uh, you know, famous places, everything uh, about anything, right? So, and why this all came about? When I came out with that first channel, I think it's already like, geez, I don't know, I don't remember exactly when. I think it was, I 
want to say nine years, maybe ten years ago at this point, when I made that first channel. And that was really because, um, you know, at that point, there was really, like, I was bored, like, in a sense of, and this kind of, like, leads me into my first topic. Uh, like, I used to, like, I was a, uh, I, if you're going to give me a choice between radio and TV, I'd probably tell you that I would much rather listen to the radio than watch the TV. And I remember back then, you know, during that time and why I started making videos, I was bored. It wasn't like, you know, I'm a TV fan, you know, sports fan, but after the sports, there was really nothing on the radio. Nothing on the radio. Like, it started, you know, falling apart. I wouldn't say falling apart. Uh, times were changing. You know, there is no such thing now. Even then, times were starting to change. Now it's completely changed. Where if you wanted to turn on the radio, there is really. What are you listening to now? Nowadays on the radio, right? There used to be a talk radio format, which at least in New York uh, doesn't exist anymore. And now it's just simply, you know, your, your standard. I, I used to love uh, talk radio, still do. You know, now, who would like it? Like, uh, like now, I don't know what you guys listen to. Like, how can you even listen to, to it? You know, besides sports talk, all right? You got the sports talk there. But if you want to listen to other talk radio besides that, there's really nothing around anymore. Nothing. Now all you have is disc jockeys just playing uh, records, uh, pl records, uh, playing songs, kind of jump in after, uh, after the song finishes. For one minute, if even, telling a wacky, corny joke, and then they go back to playing records again. What's like? What do people listen to? Or they give you like weird facts of the day, or weird stories. Florida always, always is. Ah, oh, Florida always makes the list of... You hear something at least once a day about Florida on the radio station. You don't get the full story. You just get the the, the, high, the headline clip, which is about, you know, 30 seconds to a minute. Because, heavens forbid, the program directors and, you know, people in charge of radio stations allow the disc jockeys to actually speak and show their personality. But you get, you know, the, the, uh, that's the type of thing you get on radio now. Uh, you don't get that talk radio format. So it's like, do you want to listen? I mean, if you love music, I mean, great, I guess. But how many times, even music now, even music stations... It's the same, a lot of these stations, like, in New York especially, a lot of these stations, like, three or four of them are the same type of music. Just recently, they brought back, you know, uh, K-Rock. Just recently, which is, like, a uh, rock station, Nirvana, you know, Limp Bizkit, Korn, you know, that type of stuff, but... If not, it's like the same top 40, you know, type of music. I mean, can you listen to that all day? And you have three or four stations that play the same thing. I mean, if that's, you know, what you like, then by all means. But I just, I, you know, that I can't handle. <laughs> that I cannot handle. Uh, and, and, you know, that that's, I guess... 
that's the safe thing uh, that radio stations want to do now. You know, you can't, you can't have your, your, you know, your, your hosts have a personality. So it's like, who wants to listen to the same thing over and over again? Same type of music, the same corny jokes, the same type of stories. I mean, I remember back then, uh, these guys were huge. Still, uh, you know, but, you know, times have changed. I remember uh, listening to, like, on talk radio, Opie and Anthony. Wow, those guys on the height of things amazing, you know, some of it, uh, you know, it, it's dark humor, it's cringe humor, I guess you could say that, but a lot of the times, you, you know, it, it was, I, I, you know, they used to do like stunts and pranks, some of it was, when you look back at it, uh, you're like, wow, that definitely should not have been done, or you, you could see, you know, you could, say, okay, I get why they were fired, but, you know, majority of it was, that type of radio was done all in good fun, there was never really any malice in it, and a lot of the times, the people that participated in these various pranks, in whatever it was, sketches, Bits. Majority of them signed waivers too, so it's like they knew what they were getting into. It was all in good fun, and, and and it's listen. They made it known. They made it known that it's not for everyone. If you do not like it, there are plenty of other options to listen to on the radio. But that was edgy. It was something different. You know, they were able to, they weren't afraid to show their personality. They were not. I remember sketches that they used to have, like, now, like I said, some of it is like, wow, okay, (laughs) maybe that's going to get you in trouble. But, you know, as a kid, as a teenager, uh, I've been listening to them for forever, I think it was like since maybe when they were in New York. That's when I started listening to them because they were in on New York Station, NEW. Started listening to them probably at about 17 years old. And one of the things that they had was like a, a voyeur bus. So as a horned up teenager, if you know what a voyeur bus is, pretty much it was like girls like showering, uh, taking a shower in, in a in a, in a in a bus that was glass on both sides, you know, barely clothed, like, you know, bikinis, and listen, as a teenager, as a kid, that's something that you want to hear, you're using your imagination, right, so, something you, always, of course, was into it, you hung on every word. What was going on? You were, you were glued to your chair. You didn't want to move. Voyeur bus. And that voyeur bus, they made it known on the radio what, uh, I believe, which way they were going to go. Which path. Or if they didn't, callers would call in saying, oh, I see the bus here and here. So eventually, you know, everyone started following the voyeur bus, started lining up outside. You know, we went to Times Square, and I believe that's uh, where they got um, (laughs) in trouble, I believe. I believe cops pulled them over, if I remember the bit correctly. And uh, some went arrested. There was also another uh, radio bit there where they would used to, uh, um, sex for Sam, uh, is what it was called. And, uh, I think it, I think the sponsor, I believe was Sam Adams. That's why it was called sex for Sam. 
and I, and I think it might have like involved like some type of trip to a brewery or cash or you know, something to that regard. And remember, this is at a different time where this type of radio would probably nowadays, at least some would like sketches like that, uh, would not uh, definitely even make it through the airwaves. It's a different time now. But, uh, you know, Sex for Sam, the whole point is, and mind you, this is, everything is through the radio, but they were out on the street, a list of places you would get points depending on where the point is to have sex in these public places, and depending on the type of public place that it was... Uh, each had a ranking of points. Lo and behold, one of them was a church. And um, they had a couple, supposedly had sex, in St. Patrick's Cathedral. Not the smartest thing. Did I agree with something like that? No, I was a little shocked. But again, it's it was done for the shock value. Sure, they weren't thinking about it as maybe that actually people would actually do that. Uh, they did, uh, and they got fired. So certain things, but again, it's not for everyone. But it was cringe, you know. It, it's cringe. It's uh, comedy. Um, it's a different type of radio. It's different than your, uh, you know, your whole, you know, nine to five type of yawn radio that you have now. So I miss those times. And I understand it's like a, a, a different day and age now. And you can't do half the things that you used to. Because people get offended very easily. People want to complain about everything. From every small thing to every big thing. People just want to complain. So I get it. But I think, you know, that type of radio... Um, you, you could make it work. You could make it work somehow still be a little edgy and still be funny. Not with the whole spectrum of what quote-unquote shock jock radio was. And I'm no expert. I'm just a, a listener from way back way in, uh, in, the, in the old days. But you could still be funny and still be edgy without going to the extreme like a lot of these shows used to do. Now, you know, and, and, and like I said, corp sponsors, program directors would never, uh, I think, allow that type of radio again. It's the true shock jock radio in that sense, because it's all about losing sponsors. They want them, They don't want to lose sponsors. They don't want all the public interest groups after them. But man, I remember just a just know how hot that radio type of radio was back then and why I miss it and why and that's why I started doing YouTube because you know I had nothing to do like all the good radio was was going from regular terrestrial terrestrial radio so I was bored I had nothing to do you know and then obviously you know satellite radio came into play and, and such but even on satellite radio it, it's not the, not the same so you know, Opie and Anthony was my favorite. You know, Don and Mike. Ron and Fez were uh, hilarious, too. Um, you know, like tons of other, like, you know, it's just I could go on and on. Um, Bubba the Love Sponge. You still, I really used to love all of that. Howard Stern. You know, as much as everyone, you got you to gotta respect the, uh, the OG and Howard Stern. So yeah, that's how I, for how I started, well, why I started making uh, YouTube videos, just to kill time, because I had nothing to do besides sports, 
really wasn't into the sitcoms, uh, at least the ones that were out then. I was, you know, I was into the older sitcoms. So, I do want to touch on something though, guys. I'm not sure if you guys shop at Neiman Marcus. A, a lot of us, you know, Joe Schmoes would. You know, we would never step foot in Neiman Marcus. But if you do step foot in Neiman Marcus, I'd like to share something with you in Neiman Marcus. Neiman Marcus now, and for a low price of 7100 that's 7100 not $71. $7,100, you could get a couch... Um, you know, uh, a couch, yes. The pillow. We'll start with the pillow. You have three pillows. One is like a long pillow that takes up the um, the whole couch. Good. Thing. You can put it on. It's good for the back. It looks like a hot dog. Yes. The cushions look like a bun. A hot dog bun, that is. That's right. You guessed it. A hot dog bun. And you also have two two little throw pillows that you could throw around. Maybe you want to put your head on it when you're taking a little nappy poo or, you know, just cuddling uh, with your boo. Or watching TV, uh, there are those two pillows are a tomato and a pickle. That's right, folks. $7,100. It could be all yours. And you know, you could actually say. You know, to your significant other or to your uh, party that you're hosting on your new uh, hot dog couch for $7,100 at Neiman Marcus. Yes, $71, not $71. $7,100. You could say, hold the pickle or hold the tomato. Yes, you could be saying that. And, you know, it, it's not like it's going to come across as a horny joke because you know what it won't you could also say why are you touching my wiener to someone right as they're touching your wiener with their dirty hands you could say I just cleaned my wiener Or you could say, hey, just, just uh, stroke my wiener. Yeah, and stroke it and make sure it's um, nice and, and, and flat. Make sure it's not sticking up. You don't want your wiener sticking up. Well, maybe you do, but sometimes you don't. It could be a little bit embarrassing. Right? Now, or... You know, um, you could, you know, you, you, maybe you just want to roll around on the wiener. You know, it, it's a couch. Or if someone is like laying on your wiener, be like, are oh, you taking a bite out of my wiener? Now you, you don't want to. You know, you, you, you don't want to get your friends in a panic when you say, why are you picking at my wiener? Or why are you uh, sitting on my wiener? Because sometimes people uh, take it the wrong way. Um, you know, be like, my wiener, my big cushion pillow, my big cushion back support thing. 
I will put a picture on the uh, thumbnail here that we could see what I'm talking about. The wiener couch. Wiener couch. It exists, guys. For $7,100. It is a great time to be alive. Ain't it? Ain't it? You know, speaking of food, I um came across something a couple of days ago. Going for I was going for lunch, and uh, I came across a great. Sin. Pizza. New York City has the greatest pizza. I don't care what you say. I will put it up there with anything. Chicago, please sit down. You do not have great pizza. You maybe have great square pizza, if you want to count that as pizza. But as far as regular slices, the place where it's at is NYC. So with that being said, you figure, on average, you know, being at this the state, New York City, New York City, has the reputation of having some of the best pizza, you would figure... That the people that make said pizza would be some of the greatest. And I and I would tell you, yes. Yes, they are. Now, sometimes people get a little too cute with the pizza. A little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit. Pizza, in my humble opinion, and I'm just a regular Joe Schmo, but in my humble opinion, <coughs> you could put on pizza, you could put the following, and you will not be judged. It'll be okay. You won't be judged. You won't be looked as a savage. You won't be looked upon as an alien. If you have, let's say, pepperoni on your pizza or if you have a regular pizza with cheese of course or extra cheese or a little pepperoni that's acceptable of course that is acceptable however however no matter how great of a pizza maker you may or may not be, or how great you think you are, thou shall never, ever, 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 ever put pineapple on thy pizza. Never, ever put pineapple on your pizza. You will not be able to make it work. Pineapple chunks on pizza does not work. It is a barbaric. It is disgusting. No bueno. No bueno. And, and, and I get some people uh, just think they could be artisty. Stop. Stop trying to be cute. Because it does not work. No pineapple on your pizza. I could even, I will give you an example. I even sometimes have seen people put ketchup on the pizza. And that, my friends, is better than pineapple on your pizza. Even that is better. Yes, it is.
So I've seen, and I don't know how people eat that. I do not know how people eat that. Stop trying to reinvent the wheel. Pineapple is good in cocktail drinks. Fruity drinks. That's when pineapple is good. Not on pizza. Pineapple is good on fruit salad. As part of a fruit salad. Not as pizza. I seen that. And I was legitimately afraid. And yes, in that pizza, it did seem like someone did take a bite, did have a slice of pineapple on their pizza. And I was concerned. Never, ever, ever do that. There are plenty of good ways to eat your pizza. That, my friend, friends, is not one of them. Now that I, now that I was almost in a, in, a, in a sweat, after I seen that, how can one ever go on? We will try to move on, friends. I did a video on this. Um, Some time ago. I think it was like a year ago. Maybe even longer. Uh, I believe it it was a famous story that uh, made its rounds. Uh, The woman's name uh, was Michelle, I think... Michelle Carter Williams. Uh, Google it up. Google um, boyfriend kills herself and um, girlfriend encourages him. That's pretty much what it was. What she was convicted of. Story goes um, where you know they're younger people. You know, and, and, you know, I forget how young, but old enough to know right difference between right and wrong let's put it that way okay so I guess you could call them a couple a boyfriend and girlfriend at least that's what the the media portrayed it out to be and uh, the guy was going through some problems he was going through some shit uh, as a younger kid and he was confiding in his girlfriend. This is the person that that he that you know at that age you, you love everyone. You know uh, uh, the person that he had a thing for that that he was turning to for compassion for some type of help. You know, and he's telling her, you know, I'm I'm gonna you know thinking about killing myself Uh, you know I want to kill myself and she's saying well why don't you do it why don't you kill yourself to that extent okay and uh, you know he winds up killing himself and she does not and through all this time frame uh, she does not tell anyone no authorities and this is going on for quite some time. No, like, mental health hospital. She's not saying anything. And it just goes on. And he kills himself. She's convicted. Found guilty. And, um... I believe I'm not... Ex- it was a very... It's a very short prison term. It's very short. And because I'm just doing this off the top of my head. I should have researched it. I don't know how long it was. Uh, but it was a very short uh, time frame. And she uh, 
for, for the nature of the crime. And she was actually eligible for parole. So she went in front of the parole board. Uh, I think it was like the news came down today. And she was denied parole. But that is absolutely great news. How someone gets a short sentence like that for being so heartless and not doing anything is beyond me. Beyond me. That's how, you know, the, the, the legal system is just... It's so ass backwards sometimes. She's denied parole. Bravo. Bravo. You know, and I was reading the uh, the, the comment section, and it, it, a lot of. People can't understand why she was found guilty. Guys, freedom of freedom of speech. Yes, you could say, I guess, uh, if you want to call it that way, for lack of a better way of phrasing this, you could say whatever you want to say. But whatever you do say, it has consequences behind them. Still cannot grasp my mind about how cold hearted a person could be to not do anything and just have that person that is so young go through with taking their own life. Amazing. Uh, that's how we end uh, this first episode. You know, just a couple of things I wanted to speak about. You know, I'll be, I'll, I'll be better next time. I'll be better. Just wanted to throw it together, talk about some current events. You know, guys, do check out my other channels, like I mentioned. Uh, hope everything is well. And uh, we're going to have some fun with this. Check out my other channels. It would mean a lot. Sorry for the unprofessional shooting. But, <laughs> you know... You know, you know, hope all is well.